Hello, my dear students. Welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Learn. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today, I am bringing you the most important topic, graphs in chemical kinetics. In the total, chemical kinetics is a mathematical approach in the chapter. So, students may feel it is difficult for observing graphs and application of the graph based questions. So, I made this a, a wonderful video so that at the end of this session you will be awesome to do these neat based graph questions on chemical kinetics. So, let us start. Before going for that, I just want to introduce you the score examination, India's largest scholarship examination and this score examination is India's largest. Why? Because this provides a scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and also study setup and laptop and educational elements and up to 100% scholarship based on the course you opt for that and based on your performance. So, while it in the description box, link is available, everybody click it and just fill the form and you can enjoy the score examination to enjoy all the privileges. One more important thing, this score examination can be written by any student. You may be a student of infinity lane or you may be studying in any other institute or a college. Still, you are eligible to write this and grab this opportunity and this score examination is completely online you can sit at home and you can enjoy this examination all the best my dear students and one more important thing is uh, NEET 2025 study package all india test series this package includes 27 EITS examination 13 unit test 4 part test and 10 grant test based on NEET syllabus and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test and completely is a neat recently released pattern basis 25 neat topic wise previous year questions all subjects and three physics chemistry books with video solutions on the app and also detailed analysis of every question paper and your performance will be given and last but not least your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students. And these many facilities in India, who is going to give for this cheaper price, none other than our Infinity Learn. And this is about 5,999. It is a limited period offer. When you apply YouTube 50 off, you are going to get 50% off so that you are going to get lucky 2,999. And you enjoy this special discount in the link description box. You just click it and enjoy your neat preparation. All the best, my dear students. So, coming to the main course of the graphs in the chemical kinetics. So, when you see about the chemical kinetics, you have rate of a reaction. In this rate of reaction, you have the rate is equal to change in concentration with respect to, to time. And this change can be calculated in a period or interval of time that is called average rate and a time at instant is called a instantaneous rate. So, you have two types of rates. One is you can see the graph instantaneous rate and the average rate. So, the average rate is taken at a period of interval of time and as reactant gives rise to product, the reactant concentration is going to decrease along with the time so that at a time t1 concentration is going to be c1. At a time t2 concentration is going to be C2 and uh, the difference between these two is said to be C2 minus C1 and the difference between this time is going to be T2 minus T1 is going to be average rate of reaction. When you take a tangential line and this is going to be instantaneous rate where rate instantaneous d or by dt and this graph illustrates both average rate as well as instantaneous rate. So, let us go into the integrated rate expressions like zero order and first order is very important for NEET examination and their integrated rate expression graphs and all. For zero order reaction, you can see the integrated expression is going to be Ct is equal to C naught minus Kt concentration at a time t and concentration initially and rate constant and in the given time t and that is Ct is equal to A minus Kt. And the graph shows like rate of a zero order reaction is independent on concentration. So that it is going to be a straight line parallel to the concentration and the rate is equal to con concentration and constant it is going to be k. So that for zero order reaction 
the rate dimension is equal to rate constant dimension and also you can say x is the amount that is consumed upon time it is going to be a straight line passes through the origin and the slope is going to be k and also you can say initial concentration versus initial concentration upon k you are going to get a negative slope that is going to be minus k and also you can say rate constant and time is going to be a parallel line and also you can say calculate the half life of reaction the half life for the zero order reaction is going to be t half is equal c naught by 2k where c naught is going to be initial concentration i mean to say rate half life is directly proportional to initial concentration for the zero order reaction so for that half life versus initial concentration is directly proportional so that a straight line passes through the origin is the nature of the half life curve for the zero order and the slope is going to be 1 by 2k and also for the first order reaction it is written as ct is equal to c not exponents well, minus kt and uh, in ln ct is equal to ln c not minus kt and uh, ct is equal to concentration of the reactant at a time t c not is equal to initial concentration and uh, it is written in the normal logarithm to the base 10 expression so rate constant is equal to 2.303 by t log a minus a by a minus x a is the initial concentration and x is the amount of reactant that is consumed up to time t so based on this you have four graphs i just want to show you for the first order reaction initial concentration and time t is going to be a slope decreases a curve decreases along with the time because initial concentration decreases as time proceeds and also a by t it is going to be increased and also you can say ln a not by at or ln c not by ct with respect to time is going to be a negative straight line with a negative slope slope is going to be minus k k is going to be rate constant and also you can say k c not upon t you are going to get a curve downwards along with the time and also you can say the t half is going to be 0.693 by k for the first order half life so in that there is no initial concentration my dear students so that t half is independent on the initial concentration of the first order reaction therefore t half versus concentration is going to be a straight line parallel to the concentration term so this is the behavior of the first order reaction and also you can see energy profile graph so it explains the arrhenius expression so we are going to see the energy profile graph reactant has some amount of energy and it has to reach the energy barrier then only it is going to be converted into the product so the minimum energy that are required to cross this energy barrier is called activation energy for the forward reaction and the energy gap between the products and the reactant is said to be enthalpy of reaction if we want to go in the reverse direction you have to give some amount of energy so that it has to cross the barrier then only it will convert into the reactant so ea1 indicates here activation energy for the forward reaction ea2 indicates here activation energy for the backward reaction based on this ea1 and ea2 you will be having a question based on neat examination it's a catchy point and also <coughs> arrhenius equation arrhenius equation says rate constant k k is equal to arrhenius con constant a exponent of minus ea by rt ea is activation energy or is a gas constant t is the temperature and taking this ln k is equal to ln a minus ea by rt and this expression leads to y is equal to mx minus c so is going to be a straight line when ln a versus 1 by t is taken as a graph you are going to get a straight line with a negative slope that slope gives you minus ea by r on the logarithm to the base 10 and log k versus 1 by t these two graphs are same here ln k and here ln log k 
So logarithm to the base 10 of k versus 1 by t, you are going to get a straight line with a negative slope and the slope is going to be minus ea by 2.303 r and the intercept is going to be log ea. So catch point is here, the slope will be given in the examination and you will be asked to calculate activation energy. So this is a super awesome graph and this graph is solely helpful for the NEET examination as well as your board examination. So today we had a great discussion about all the graphs that are there, total 15 graphs have been discussed. And you can just practice these graphs and observe this graph and based on this graph you will be having a simple application on the multiple choice questions on NEET examination. And hope you like this session and stay tuned for such type of sessions. Every day I am coming up with a small topic which are very important to grab a one question from NEET examination. Stay tuned, please like our session, share with your friend and subscribe to Infinity Learn NEET channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.